Namaste and welcome to Sonali Joshi's Astro Jyoti Healing. In this video, we are going to see the tips for the year 2023 for Nakshatras of Rahu. Watch this video if you have Moon in Aradra, Moon in Swati Nakshatra, or Moon in Shatataraka or Shatavisha Nakshatra. This video also applies to you if you have Ascendant, Ascendant Lord, or Sun or many planets placed in the nakshatras of Rahu. Watch this video to know what you can do in the year 2023 and what you can avoid in the year 2023 to get the best from your horoscope. To those of you who are new to astrology, Rahu is known as planet of magic. Rahu is a magician. Rahu deals with all the modern technology. Rahu deals with our passion. Rahu's job is to give the native all the material pleasures, show him the opportunities and ways. Rahu tends to mix different cultures, religions, backgrounds, places. So basically you can take mixture A and B and make it together something else. People who have knowledge of two different systems can always come up with something else. Third system. And this is what Rahu does. So if you have Nakshatra of Rahu, by now you know that you have knowledge of two different cultures, knowledge of two different systems, two different processes. And using that knowledge, your job requires, your profession requires, or your business, or your day-to-day -day life requires something new to be created. And for that, depending on other planets and other conjunctions or placements with planets in Rahu, Nakshatra, you are able to deliver what is needed. So the first important tip for people who have Aradra Nakshatra, always remember, instead of destructing something that was old and creating something new, think for a minute. Ask yourself if there is any selfish motive in this. Do not dismantle system, destruct things or end something out of selfishness. Just remember, you have ability and lot of courage. You are intelligent, you have lot of courage. Amount of efforts you will make, you will get the returns. So don't shy away, shy away from making efforts. Now let us start with Nakshatra of Swati. Swati falls in the sign of Libra. That means it has influence of Rahu as well as Venus. Swati primarily deals with earning money, systems that can bring you money, all the retail systems, sales, any business. And Swati has such a great quality that it can change itself depending on what is needed. So these guys are really versatile in changing their professions, businesses or day-to-day -day work. They understand masses, emotions of masses and Swati has ability to create great, great connections. When all the big systems can fail, all known people can fail, natives who have Swati Nakshatra can stand up alone, fight any storm that comes and be there to support. So remember, Use all your sales, marketing, deal making ability to give someone support. Do not use your abilities to make someone suffer. Typically in terms of relationships, Swati people have to be very careful about relationships. Aradra people have to be very careful about their friendships. Now let us talk about Nakshatra of Shatabisha or Shatatarka. Shatatarka or Shatabisha is the culmination of energy of Rahu. It falls in the sign of Aquarius, which is co-owned by Rahu. So these guys are very talented. These people are very talented. However, they may have some inferiority complex. And out of that complex, out of not valuing themselves well, they tend to take disadvantage of their friend circle, their relatives, their father's family or 
all the donation systems charity systems or from where they'll get profits so always remember if you have shatabisha or shatataraka understand you are a healer you have so many qualities you have ability to create magic but create that magic do all the mixing do all profit making with the aim of donation in mind rahu is your passion rahu tends to increase material desires of everyone and these people sometimes forget the basic principles and the basic principles are loyalty basic principle number 2 is doing your karma carrying out karma not being shy of doing hard work the third principle is sharing profit and the fourth basic principle is donating and helping the needy when you have more nakshatras of rahu always take care of those four things because planets from the rahu nakshatras always go into sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces navamsha that is the pending karma this is the fruit of your action so remember those four things and you will have great 2023 Rahu is very powerful Rahu can always give you all the material pleasures but it can take away the happiness of mind it can make you suffer in your personal life in your personal relations so value them follow the principles ethics say complete no to shortcuts and when it comes to other people's money sharing profits is the best thing and always make it a habit to donate something to the charity non profits and the needy hope you can share this video if you know someone with rahu nakshatras if you are looking for more info on rahu nakshatras i'm going to attach some videos in description do check them out also check the charts based on aradra swati and shatavisha nakshatra namaste thank you shubham bhavatu